All right, guys, we're here for round number one of this Popper League. Because we're playing a league because we're legit here on uh, Pop Man Amaze now. I think I have to keep this hand. We have Gitaxian Pro plus Street Wraith. We have Seeming Spear Guide for mana. We're, like, pretty close here. So I think I'm going to keep. We got three draws. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to keep. All right, evolving wilds. Okay, I can I can handle that nonsense. Let's go here. All right, what do we got? Gitaxian probe. All right, we're gonna start off with the Gitaxian probe here. What is our opponent got? It doesn't matter what they have because we're not gonna be playing around anything. The Grixis control deck. Okay, there's a morgue theft. That was a terrible draw. Let's get Gitaxian probe again. Ooh, cracking the evolving wilds in response. I like that. Getting an island. Nickel Bowl or uh, Nickel Bowl Island. Nice. 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 Okay, yeah. This hand is still the same. Metamorphosis is pretty good. Alright. Cycle this. There's the forest. So. Hmm. Look, we just play the forest and bass, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to have to take this a little slowly here. A little slowly indeed. There's that prior name we kind of knew about. So Wirewood Guardian is a dead card. Morgue Theft is a dead card. Demir Aqueduct. Okay. Uh, we could Metamorphose, which means we need to hit Balustrade Spy in those two cards. No. I can just like discard a card here. Which is what I'm gonna do. I probably shouldn't have discarded a Wirewood Guardian. That like probably gives us away what we're doing. But that's okay. He's gonna keep tapping out. So again, we just like draw a balustrade spot. I think we just we're pretty close to winning the game. Okay. Lotus Petal is good, right? Hmm. Hmm. I think we just need to go to discard again. We might be dead now, though. He might have some counter spells for us. Maybe I shouldn't have kept this hand. I don't know. We drew pretty poorly, though. Well, I like him tapping out. That's very good. Very good indeed. Hmm. All right, deck. Demir Hellscar right now. Does that do it? Oh, it's so close. Okay, uh, you know what? He's tapped out. There's, like, no better time to go for, right? Like, okay, Lotus Pell. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to add black and, I think, one red. Songs of the Damned. That's what we needed. We needed to draw that big time. Big time. I think we win the game here, guys. Fair, yeah, this game is just straight snap over now. Snap over. Oh my god, we're going to do it. First, this is the first Pop Pondering game. Oh, this is insane. This is so insane. This is so insane. <laughs> oh, we're doing it. Oh, we're doing it. This is fantastic. Alright, so now we're going to Songs of the Damned. We're going to Morgue Thief the Anarchist. Cast the Anarchist. Get back. Haunting Misery. Cast Haunting Misery, target him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Boom. Get haunting miseried. Dead? Gotta be dead, right? Dead? 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 What do you got, my friend? What do you got? What's happening? What is happening? He's just like looking through my deck, I guess. Just trying to be a good magic player, you know, just... Yeah, boom! <laughs> I don't even care. We're probably not going to win another game. Whoa, that was sick. All right, now, the question is, do we want to board out of the combo deck and board into the blue-black control deck? The blue-black control deck is arguably worse than this deck in this spot. I don't like capsize against his ETB creatures. I do like it against Demir Aqueduct though, but uh, no, we're probably just gonna keep it as the combo deck for now. We can get lucky. We can get lucky, I think. Whether or not to go first. Well, this hand's pretty good. This hand's, I think, uh, this is like really close. Yeah, yeah, this is a keep, this is a keep. I got Balistrade Spy, like, I'm gonna keep. Well, this is his problem. He chose to be on the play. He gotta be on the draw in this matchup. Ooh, Song's the Damned. All right, let's take a look. Relic Regenerous. That one's not great for us. There's a Battle Straight Spy. All right. Street Wraith. Another Simian Spirit Guy. If we can make a black, this game will be over. Oh my god, that's depressing. Oh, it's so depressing. Oh, man. We were so close to just killing him. Ah! Ah! Well, not missing anything, right? Red, red. I'll discard a battle straight spot. So, now the question becomes, Evolving Wilds, that is good for us. That is huge for us. So that means he can't crack the Relic. Okay. Okay, we need a Black Source right here. It's not a Black Source, damn. Okay, well this game might be over now. But we're gonna keep playing. We gonna keep playing, you know. It's no problem. Uh, I don't think I need the Tinder wall. The street right. The problem is, is that if you remove enough creatures from a graveyard, we actually don't, probably don't have enough to actually kill him. Which is kind of sad. There's Morgue Theft. Let's go to discard again. Actually, we have one creature in the graveyard. If he... One, two, three... He... <laughs> so funny. <laughs> if he exiles another card, it doesn't matter what we do, we can't kill him. <laughs> Oh, that sucks. We only have 24 creatures in our deck, and there's one of them in exile, and if he exiles one more, we're just dead. We actually have a bunch of Simian Spirit Guides in hand, too. So, like, I don't think we I don't think we can win this game. There's a land grant. Doesn't really do anything. I'm just going to concede. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's reevaluate. We want the blue black control deck. Radiant found, Evan Carter's Justice, think twice, Forbidden Alchemy, Caps Up. Mm, mystical Teachings, I think, seems good in this deck. You know, we can go get her some combo pieces. Nah, nah. Combo deck, combo deck, it is. Okay. Do I want to be on the play? 
I don't think so. I'm gonna be on the draw. This hand good. It has Conjurer's Bobble. It has two Dark Rituals, Cabal Ritual, Tinder Wall, Street Rit. I actually think I want to mulligan this hand. I don't think it does enough. This hand is better. I'm gonna keep this one. Oh, our pulls on a mold of five? Ooh! Ooh, bottom. So we don't need we can't draw any land grants. That's huge. Yeah. Dismal Backwater is kind of a bane, because again, we can only technically deal him 24 damage. Draw. Anarchist. Hmm. Well. Forest. One. Two. I'm just gonna play the Tinder Wall. Pass the turn. We need kind of a good draw, but we're really close. Preordain's good for us. Preordain is good for us. It means he's not doing anything. And he's on no land. Okay, so we can kind of sit back. Oh, that's good. Hmm. I think we want to wait till we hit a Songs of the Damned, though. We are going to play this Wild Cantor. Because... We're really close. There's a relic. Hopefully it doesn't have a land. Okay, that's good. So I think I'm probably going to go for it now, depending on what I draw. Strius is pretty good. Taxi and probe is a good start. Bunch of nothings. Simeon Spirit Guide. So. Don't know if I have enough mana, is the problem here. Ugh. Man, that relic sucks. Hmm. Manamorphos has to hit something. If he untaps with Relic, I just can't win. Because what I end up having to do to kill him is I'm going to put my entire Graveyard into my library and I don't have Haunting Echoes. So at any point, if I put any ability on the stack, he can just exile it with Relic. So I just can't win. So you know what? I'm just going to I'm just gonna go for it. Because, like, YOLO, you know? So it's Manamorphos. I'm gonna add a black and a black. Song! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, so there's one creature. These can leave the 24 creatures. There's gonna be Balustrade Spine play too. Oh my god, it's so close. Okay. Uh, we need to get this Anarchist in the graveyard somehow, because he's in a. We have 24 creatures in our deck. We've lost one. We need a way to get one of these guys in the graveyard. Okay, well. Hmm. I'm gonna do a couple. Uh, ritual. Exile. Six down to five balustrade spy. Target myself. Cast Songs the Damned. See, that's the problem. I only have 19 creatures on my <laughs> graveyard. Okay, so now what can I do? I need... What can I do? 21... Hmm. I can like 
If my Bowser had Spy had flying, this wouldn't even be an issue. If I had one card left in my deck, I actually think I'd win this game, which is quite ridiculous. Uh, morgue Theft what? Is there any way I can do this? Hmm. If I had a Conjurer's Bobble, I think I win this game. Alright, well, that's Anarchist. Get back. This thing. Yes. Hmm. Then Morga theft. There's like no way to put something on top, right? This thing is fear. Probably the thing I want to bring back. Ugh. Sucks. This sucks. I'm going to bring back Demir Hope's Guard. This is very sad. Very, very sad. Very sad indeed. One, two, three, four. Seventeen. One, two, three. Eighteen creatures. That's all we had. All right. If I had one card in, on top of my library, I think I just win the game. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. Storm count was at nine. He goes to three. We're gonna, you know, maybe he thinks he's dead. Because I got three guys in play. <laughs> goes up to four. Wow, he's just gonna pass the turn. Yeah, and we're dead. Well, you know, that was close. Maybe that was just a that's just a deck building error. Maybe we need more guys in our deck. I don't know. I don't know. That was kind of rough though. I feel like everything went right there and we didn't win. So, Ugh. who knows? Maybe I just made a, a completely huge misplay. It's been a long time, you know, since I wheeled the popper cards. All right, I'll see you guys for game number two. That was sweet when we went to go off though. All right, be right back. All right, guys, we're back here for round number two. I would like to be on the draw for this game. Double land grant, balustrade spy. I think I gotta keep this hand. It's really close to just win on the spot. I'm gonna keep my opponent multi six. Okay. Tree of Tails, we're playing Affinity. Alright. Alright, alright. Taxi and probe. Well, on a land grant. I'm on a land grant, so this is not the chance we draw a forest. Guy's in a league, so he's going to write our hand down, you know. We'll try hard. And grab this forest. And play this forest. Play this Cataxian probe. 
All right. It's not the best. I like a Taxium Pro. Yeah. Tinder Wall is not the worst draw ever. We still need a way to make black, though. So we will pass. All right. Great Furnace and the Carapace Forger. So that thing is a 4-4. Four, four. There's another Tinder Wall, which we will play. Maybe there's like some sweet way we could like block that thing and like kill it. No, there is not. We don't have double red. That would be pretty sweet though. <laughs> so we're gonna chunk for four down to 12. He's gonna play another Carapace Forger. I assume, yeah. Okay. I have like two turns to do something here. Land Grant, that is not a good draw. We're gonna play this Conjurer's Bubble though. So we don't need to have the extra mana when we go off. This double land grant is certainly not the best, but they are free cards to cast so we can Cabal Ritual. We just need, we need to draw it on our turn or we just die. I can probably block one of them, but like, does that even really matter? Hmm. I probably just take it and then if I have to block, I'll block next turn. Yeah. He's on just Gear Seeker Serpent now. All right, here we go. Another Tinder wall, so I guess we're just on blocking detail. That is a lot of Tinder walls. All right. I can actually like kill one now. <laughs> so I can sack one Tinder wall and then use the other two Tinder walls to kill it. But like that actually just doesn't do anything. Blue and a blue. Ooh, Thoughtcast is a good one. It's all right. We're still gonna have one rip at it. This is attacking or blocking? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's blocking. Probably plays Gear Seeker Serpent here. Yeah. All right. Better late than never, I guess. One time. Oh, man. <laughs> so close. We are dead. Let us go to game number three, or number two. All right, now I think this will be definitely the matchup for the blue-black control deck. Thought, think, think twice is in the mystical teachings. The Evan card is just going to be really good. Uh, maybe not. Maybe it's a little too slow. Maybe we try to just get lucky. We'll get lucky in this game, and then we'll board into the blue-black control, into the um, teachings control in, in, in game three. All right, here we go. Here we go. Big money. Big money. Man, these Lotus, these Masterpiece Lotus Paddles and these Invocation Dark Rituals are, as the kids would say, woke AF or lit, I think. Anarchist, look at that Anarchist art. That's so nice. I'm going to be on the draw. This hand is close. This hand is close. Yeah. Haunting Misery like looks like a combo piece, but it's actually not. I'm actually going to mulligan this hand. I don't think it's close enough to doing anything. This hand is quite good, I think. I'm going to keep this hand. Lotus Petal will be good. Tinder Wall. I don't think is what we want here. Hopefully we have a couple turns. Hopefully he's kind of slow. Looks like he's kind of slow. Wild Cantor. We're going to cycle this tree race and see what happens. Seeming Spirit Guide's good. Let's cycle this one. Taxi, bro. Let's see what he's doing. 
There's a lot of nothing. Okay. Another battle trace by. That's not a good draw. So we can pass the turn here. We're going to have to try to get a little lucky on what we draw. There's a prism. Yep. Okay. We do have a bunch of turns that draw stuff. Shrew Wraith is pretty sweet. Cycle that. Conjurer's Bauble doesn't really do anything. We need to draw like a land grant at some point too. So this turn he can play Mernforcer if he wants. No, he drew the relic! Ah! <laughs> no! Oh, that sucks. Okay, well, we're probably just dead now. You hit all five of those creatures, and that means the game is over. Four creatures, okay. Okay, so now here is the actual thing. is If he taps that land, he's going to leave it up to a... Eh? Man. Well, you know, we're going to... We're going to... We're just going to go for it, and we'll see what happens, I guess. What's the worst that could happen? The worst part is that it's so fickle on, like, how much, how many creatures we have on our deck. Hmm. Cause like this technically is gonna win me this game. Oh, Cabal Ritual is a good draw there. Hmm. He probably does it now, and the game just ends. He doesn't. Question becomes if I can get. Mm, uh, I think it's a sorcery, which is really too bad. He's just going to leave it up. We had him too. That was the win. Alright, we're just going to play it. Yeah, target ourselves. Probably does it now. Yep. All right, well, you know what? 0 for 2 against the relics. That's okay. Maybe the blue-black control deck needs to start coming out. Uh, I'll see you guys <laughs> For round number three. All right, here we are for round number three. I am going to be on the draw. This hand is pretty good. I'm going to keep it. Our opponent's determining whether or not they are going to mulligan. I'm going to keep it. A mighty salmon. Man, our deck looks really nice. Though. No! Fountain! Oh my god, that card is actually such a beating. Okay, alright. Tinder wall. Alright, Street Wraith. Song of the Vamp. Okay. Forest. Forest is an okay draw. The problem here is we don't have battle straight spot. The actual problem is this Radiant Fountain, which he's going to bounce back to his hand and go to 24, which means we actually cannot win the game. Which is very sad. 
Very sad indeed. Yep. Oh, another tinder wall. That is so depressing. He's gonna play the Radiant Fountain. Hey. We won't have 24 creatures in Earth Yard. Okay. So we just keep passing the turn. And he goes to 24. There's like no point in playing this. We just can't win. Okay. That's right. It's all right. Submit the deck. Let's do it. I don't even know what sequence of events would have had to happen for us to win that game with him at 24. It's actually so depressing that we can't beat an opponent that is at 24 life. Uh, maybe we should have boarded in the blue-black controller. We already submitted our deck. It's okay. It's okay. Our deck looks really nice. Though. These street rates. Ooh, future side ones. Ooh, a little spicy. Oh, a lot like my first. Hmm. Santa has the pieces. We have a, this thing and these. Yeah, I'm going to keep. He went to six. He's probably going to have turn one relic. Don't do it. Five. 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 No five. Never lucky. Just no relics. Okay, planes is a good start. Okay, throw inspector also a good start for us. Conjurer's Bobble. All right. Okay, there's no way to gain life there. Conjurer's Bobble. Okay. Just going to go to discard, discard one of these Conjurer's Bobbles. All right. I'm still feeling fairly good about this game. His clock is somewhat slow. think we can win this game. No! <laughs> it's so funny that Radiant Fountain is just a beating against us. Oh my god. I don't even know if you can play this deck with so many gain lands in the format. Oh, this is depressing. Oh no, he's going to bounce it. Oh, don't do it. Please don't see it. Please don't see it. Thank god. Okay, he didn't see it. You can just do it next turn, though. Oh my god, this. Okay, we need. What do we need? We need a black source right here. Okay, one time, black source. That's a black source. Okay, can we do it? All right. Now. Can we get to eight mana? Three. I think we can. Okay. Exile seems very. We have to do it. We just can't win if he doesn't. So, play well, Cantor. Sacrifice this. Dark Ritual. Uh, so now... The five... Oh, we only got to four? Yeah, that's okay. Balustrade Spy, one. And we have two creatures? Oh, no. Oh, we're one off. I knew we were one off, too. Shouldn't have went for it. Shouldn't have went for it. We up to two. To three. Yeah, we lost. This is insane. Oh, he can't beat a Radiant Fountain. Oh, yeah, yay. All right. Good game. Good game. All right. I'll see you guys for round number four because these games are, these matches are way too short. <laughs>